Okay, here's a question involving partial derivatives. Now, there's a quick way of doing these kinds of derivatives, and there's a reasonably methodical way of doing these uh, kinds of derivatives. Okay? So, I'll show you um, the reasonably methodical way of doing these ones. These are a little bit trickier because they involve second order partials. Okay? So, by the subscripts, f sub xx means d squared f dx squared with the curly d's. So let's go through, oh, by the ln, I mean the natural logarithm function. Okay? Now, the quick way, to, to calculate the, part, the second order partials, what I would like to do is calculate the first order partials. Okay? So differentiate once, then differentiate twice. Now there is a quick way of doing this problem. Okay? At least for the first order derivatives. What you would do, if you wanted to calculate, say, df dx or f sub x okay so by this I mean df dx what you would do is basically take the partial derivative of what's in the bracket bring it to the front and then multiply by the derivative of log of whatever's in the back brackets okay so what's the derivative of log well to say log u it'll be 1 on u all right, then you just replace u with something like x squared plus y squared. So a quick way of differentiating this, to find df dx, you'd bring the 2x to the front and think, okay, what's the derivative of log? Well, it's 1 on, say, u. So you uh, multiply by 1 on x squared plus y squared. Okay? Now remember, when we do um, partial derivatives, we if we're finding df dx, we would differentiate with respect to x and imagine... It, all the other variables are constants. Okay? So, if I do that, I should get something like that. Thank you. Okay. Now, you could use the chain rule there if you wanted to, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Okay? So it's similar with df dy or f sub y. Take the partial derivative with respect to y of what's in the brackets, bring it to the front, and then multiply by 1 on the derivative of log, which is going to be 1 on x squared plus y squared. Okay? Can I have a show of hands? Who's, who's reasonably comfortable with what I just presented there? Okay, good. Good. If you're not, you'll become more familiar with these techniques as we go on. Okay, the, the slightly more tricky thing is the second order partial derivatives. Now, notice we've got... In some sense, quotients here quotient of functions. So to differentiate those again, what I might need to do is um, come up with a, a quotient rule for partial derivatives. To differentiate this, we're going to use a quotient rule. So let's say I wanted to differentiate this with respect to x. So it's going to be something like the following. Okay, so it's v times u sub x, or du dx, minus u times v sub x, or dv dx, all over v squared. Okay, now you don't have to necessarily have to use that, just use the techniques that you feel comfortable with, and the ones that are going to save you a bit of time. So in this example, the u would be 2x, the v would be x squared plus y squared, so I want to take df dx and 
differentiate partially with respect to x. Okay, so imagine all the y's are constant here, and I just want to differentiate um, with respect to x. Okay, so, so use 2x, v is x squared plus 1, so let's calculate this then. Oops, squared. So there's a squared hiding in there. So the derivative of 2x with respect to x is just going to be 2. Okay. And then it's u times v sub x. So the derivative of this, x squared plus y squared. So the derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to x is going to be something like 2x. OK? So now all we need to do is a little bit of uh, simplification. So I'm going to get. 2x squared minus 4x squared, which is going to be minus 2x squared. And I'm going to be left over with a plus 2y squared on the top. So I should get something like that. OK, any questions so far? Have I done that correctly? Yes? OK, so for f sub y, y, similar situation. What we want to do is take df dy, differentiate it with respect to y, using whichever method you're comfortable with. I'm going to, so for df, uh, d dy here, I'll just have a y there, a y there, and a y there. So let's differentiate. Okay, the derivative of 2y with respect to y is going to be 2 minus u times the derivative of what's on the bottom with respect to y in this case. So the derivative of what's on the bottom with respect to y is going to be 2y. And then I square what's on the bottom. Okay, so if I wanted to simplify this a bit more, you can see I'm going to get uh, 2y squared there minus 4y uh, squared. So I'm going to get 2x squared minus 2y squared all over x squared plus y squared all squared. And the last thing I want to do is calculate the mixed partial, f sub xy. OK, so let's see if I can squeeze that in over here. So what I want to do is look at f sub x and differentiate with respect to y. So that's f sub x here. Now, I don't, strictly speaking, I don't need to use a quotient rule there. I can pretty much, because there's, there's a y squared down the bottom and no y's up the top, I can pretty much, I should be able to write down the answer. OK, anyone know what, what's, what's it going to be? The f sub x, y. Correct. Very good. OK, so remember, th think of this as a constant and this as a, as a constant. In other words, there's a y squared on the bottom. So if I differentiate this with respect to y, what's going to happen? The derivative of what's down here comes to the top, and you, in, you, you square everything down the bottom. OK, so it's going to be something like this. Okay. So you'll find yourself getting bit more and more uh, faster with your calculations the more problems you do. Okay. But it all comes back to simple differentiation uh, rules and, and concepts from school and from first year.